Today, I am going to teach you integer addition. Let's get into the topic. There are two rules to consider when you add integers. If the integers have the same sign, step 1, you need to add. Step 2, keep the sign. If the integers have a different sign, step 1, you need to subtract. Step 2, take the sign of largest absolute value. You need to keep these rules in mind when you are solving sums. So let us go deeply into each of the rule with some examples. Adding integers with same sign. So recall the rule. If the integers have the same sign, step 1 is to add, right? Step 2 is to keep the sign. Let's, let's solve some sum, keeping these rule in mind. Minus 3 plus minus 4. So here, there are two integers, minus 3 and minus 4. I need to add both and I can clearly see both are negative integers. So first I analyzed that it has the same sign. After identifying the integers have the same sign, I need to follow the rule for it. So what I have to do? Add. So add 3 and 4, you will get 7. After adding, the next step is to keep the sign. I have to decide the sign for my solution. So, both are negative integer. So, I need to keep the sign as negative. So, my answer is minus 7. Minus 3 plus minus 4 is equal to minus 7. That's easy, right? Consider the next example for the integers with the same sign again. Add 7 plus 5. So, call the rule. You need to identify whether the integers have the same sign or different sign. 7 and 5 both are positive integer and the signs are positive. So, they have the same sign, isn't it? So, what you have to do? Add. Add 7 and 5 which gives my answer as 12. Again, the answer is not complete. We need to decide upon the sign for the answer 12. Keep the sign. Since both are positive integer, I need to keep the same sign plus in my answer. So, the answer is plus 12. Or simply I can write as 12 since 12 is a positive integer. 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. Hope you understand adding integers with same sign. Let us discuss the second rule, adding integers with different sign. So, recall the rule for step 1, subtract. Step 2, take the sign of largest absolute value. Let us solve the sum. 13 plus minus 3. Here, 13 is a positive integer and its sign is plus. Minus 3 is a negative integer and its sign is minus. So, you can clearly see that they both have different sign. So, if the integers have different sign, the step 1, I need to subtract. So, I need to subtract 13 and 3 irrespective of the signs. If I subtract 13 and 3, my answer is 10. But still, the answer is incomplete because I need to consider the sign for the answer for my solution. So, what will be the sign? The next step is take the sign of largest absolute value. So, I need to decide the sign by selecting the sign of largest absolute value. So here 13 is the largest number, largest value and the sign is positive. So 13 plus minus 3 is positive 10 or simply I can write it as 10 since 10 is a positive integer. We will consider another example as well. Minus 23 plus 10. So I can see minus 23 is a negative integer and it has minus sign. 10 is a positive integer, hence the sign is plus. So both have a different sign. So if I have a different sign, what I have to do? Step 1, subtract. So I am going to subtract 23 and 10 which is 13. 
So I'm going to subtract 23 minus 10, which gives the answer as 13. The next is I need to decide the sign so, for my solution. So what is the next step? Take the sign of largest absolute value. So here the sign of largest value is minus. Sign of 23 is minus. Hence, I have to keep this minus for my answer. So minus 23 plus 10 is equal to minus 13. So don't stop. Once you subtract, you need to decide upon the sign for your final solution. Let us recall both the rules again. So there are two rules to add integers. Integers with same sign, we need to add and keep the sign. If the integers have different sign, subtract and take the sign of largest absolute value. For more practice, I have given a link in the description box. You can make use of the worksheet to solve the sums using these rules. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Feel free to post any topics in the comment box which you would like to learn with me. And this YouTube channel is for good cause. If you like this video, like, share, comment, subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you.